So here is the start of the quiz in PowerPoint. You can see that I've got four slides set up. Um, the first slide is just the welcome, the introduction and some instructions. Slide two is the first question with three options for the person you're doing the quiz to choose from. The third slide is the slide that they'll go to if they get the answer right. And you'll see that there's some feedback on there, there's some teaching on there so people can learn something from your quiz. And the fourth slide is the incorrect slide, so that um, and you can see that we're going to send them to try again, send them back to the question, so that they can actually get it right and learn something from the quiz. Now, if I just launch the slideshow um, as normal, so press F5 on your keyboard or just run it from here, it will go from slide one to slide two to slide three to slide four, just by clicking anywhere, just like you'd expect because it's a PowerPoint and PowerPoints run in a sequence. But obviously in our quiz that's not what we want to happen. So first of all we need to um, turn off that uh, that movement forward from one to another just by clicking anywhere. So if you go to the slideshow menu, set up slideshow, you'll get this up and you want to choose browse at a kiosk. Okay, that option there and then just click OK. And if I test that now, F5, I shouldn't be able to click anywhere. I'm stuck on slide number one, which is good. So I press escape to get out of there. So now I need to set up some, some buttons in order to help to get people through this quiz. Now I'll show you a number of different ways, but we'll start with the extremely easy way. On the insert tab, on the shapes, right down at the bottom you have a section called action buttons. Now I'll go to, I'll take this one because this is uh, draw it out and what an action button does will instantly bring up your hyperlink uh, dialog here. So because I chose the forward arrow it's automatically hyperlinking me to the next slide. Uh, I could have it play a sound if I wanted to. Um, these are the built-in slides of uh, PowerPoint or you can import your own. It's not an important thing at the moment but we can. Uh, you could have a, side, uh, a sound. So hyperlink to next slide, click OK. Now if I don't want it to be blue, I don't have to have it blue, I can go to format or double click on it and I can change it to any of these built-in things or I can change it myself to anything that I might want it to, to be. Okay so you've, you've got full control over how these look. So if we now uh, test it, we can't click forward there, but if I click on the button you'll see it turns into a hand. So like you see on the internet, it's a hyperlink and it goes forward to the next slide. Okay, so now we can set up the buttons on this slide. So if we use the action buttons again, and this is a plain one, and this one is so which of these is the correct term for an email that is trying to get you to give away account details and passwords? A hunting, B hacking, and C phishing. Well, hunting is not the right answer. So I don't want to hyperlink this to the next slide. I want it to go to the incorrect slide, which is slide number four. Now if you scroll down, you'll see where it says slide. And if you click on there, you'll then see your list of slides. Now if you use the title slide title to um, name your slides then it will show up in the list like this. So I can click on that, click OK, click OK. Now I can just type on this, so if I want to put A I'm just going to type on it. I didn't, don't need to put a text box in, um, I just need to um, type, type, type it. Now I can make it bigger, bolder, etc like that. So if we test that, now if you don't want to you don't want to keep testing it from the beginning. If you press shift and F5 or you can go from current slide, but shift and F5 means that we test it from here. So there's the hand. Now we're on the incorrect. Okay? So that's good. And I can set all of those up like that. Now I'll show you a, a different way. You could create your own buttons. So you could decide that you want another shape or something. And again, you don't you can just type on them, you don't need text boxes. This time, because this was not an action button but just an ordinary shape, you can right click 
and you see the option hyperlink. Click on hyperlink, we get a completely different uh, screen and you have to choose place in this document and at that point you will see the options that you have. Okay, so that would be how to do that. So a shift and F5, test that, works in exactly the same way. And we could also use a picture. I'll put um, some, I don't know if there is any clip art for fishing. No results found. Tick online, see what we get. Okay, so I'm going to put this picture in. So we could have a picture as a link and you treat it the same way that you treat a shape. So right click on it, I go to hyperlink, place in this document, correct. Click OK. Shift F5 to test, so we know those two work and this one should now take me to the correct slide. And I'm sure that you can work out that what you now need to do is to set up a question 2 slide here and then link put a button or something to take them on to question two and on this slide you need to send them back to question one. So you do now have the skills to do that so it's over to you.